What's up, B's and G's? Sorry. Um, I'm not going to include that. <sighs> Fucking A. Anyway, I'm going to do a beer review. I've been meaning to do this for a while now, and um, not drinking only, except for only on the weekends. Can't really do as much of the shit that I want to do. So, I'm going to drink... Boop. Mike Dean's... Cum Loud. Ho, ho, ho. Um, yeah, this is a monster. Nice friggin' job on the label, Mr. Dean. Um, this is wicked. This is really wicked. Um, I'll read y'all what Mike says about this. Uh, Mike took a different spin on this classic beer. It's made famous by the Austrians and the Mexicans, too. Uh, replace the lager yeast with a British ale yeast to speed up the fermentation and add some fruity esters. Uh, Vienna malts are from the newly introduced Gold Pills Vienna. Finally added some special roast and honey malt. The hops are Fuggles and Golding, UK. So, this thing looks wicked. I've now just kind of stirred up some, uh, some stuff in this spinning this bottle around, so I apologize. So, I'm gonna pour this, and let's get a crack and a peek at what we're dealing with here. So, nice hiss. Some smoke, carb is already screaming up the bottle. Ah, smells very German, actually. Actually reminds me a lot of a um, Modelo. Like the, or Dos Equis actually, a hammer maybe. One of those two. So, it's looking gorgeous. Pour it this way so you all can see. Color on this is wicked. And I think Mike comes off the keg, so, but I'm gonna pour it in. Boop. Yeah. That is beautiful. See, Boop. super clear. The smell on this thing. Oh, actually, really bready, um, but clean. Uh, definitely, definitely some fruit on this. Sorry, I'm gonna scooch a little bit closer to y'all. getting out of this. There's um, some grapiness in here. Some kind of whiny grapiness, actually. <sighs> definitely some fruit, but there's definitely malt back backbone on this thing um, that I can get. I'm going to stir this up a little bit, see if I can't get every little bit of this floating up here. Probably pick the wrong glass, too, by the way. Smells really clean. Um, smells really, really great. All right, I'm gonna dive in. Cheers, Mike. Yeah, so there's a real toastiness, like a bread. Um, Graham cracker, actually, is what I'm getting out of this. Kind of a honey made, in fact. That's exactly what it tastes like to me. Um, it tastes like a honey made graham cracker. So that's probably some of that gam or that honey malt. And I haven't used um, that new, that Gold Pills Vienna. I haven't used that. Um, so I'm not really sure about that. But this is really crackery, um, crackery, bready. Um, Honey. I mean, it's straight off the top. That's what I'm, exactly what I'm getting. I really like. I mean, I like that flavor. Um, actually, it plays really well. The wine, the, the grape that I kind of got. Here, move this down a little. I hope this doesn't. Ah, fuck it. Um, kind of that grapeness that I get on the nose I'm definitely not getting in this um, 
because it's there. It's there on the nose. <clears throat> and it's interesting, as I'm drinking this, I'm getting a little bit of an idea. Um, I'm wondering if you used some Nelson in this to get a bit more of a wine character with this. You could have like a, um, you know, a cracker with jam. Hell, you could even throw some PB2 in there and then you would have a PBJ, PB&J um, cracker. It actually would taste really fucking good, I bet. But this tastes fucking phenomenal, Mike. This is awesome. This is really freaking good. Yeah, I'm getting some fruit, definite fruit, and um, kind of light apple, like, um, not like an off flavor apple, kind of like that clean, that crisp fruit flavor, which I, you know, I think of when I think of like grapes and green apples, like kind of like it's high palate, um, high nose, nasal, kind of <laughs> clean, fresh is kind of the word I'm looking for, actually. And there is definite toastiness on the nose, too. Um, I'm not getting any... I'm not smelling anything that could be off in this. So there's definitely... This was done really well. Um, cheers. I'm going to go back in. Mm. Yeah. It's really, um, that honey now is kind of coming up a little bit. It's sweet as malty. I mean, it's definitely malty, and it's not, um, it's a malt-forward beer, I think. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that this is bitter at all. Um, I wouldn't have expected it to be. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. I like the way that the malt carries through in this beer. It's an awesome job, Mike. This thing is friggin' great. So, I've got two more in the fridge of yours, um, maybe try to get another one done tonight or tomorrow um, but Dean's List go check out Mike's channel uh, I'll put a link in the description uh, so that way you guys can can go check it out but go check out my Dean he rocks and his setup is friggin sweet so cheers thank you Mike and I look forward to the rest that I've got so later the fuck are you talking about <laughs>